Okay team, now that we just did that review of all those phonics rules, let's look at this question here. This is actually a, a systematic phonics question. And uh, now that we've reviewed all these rules, we can talk about this one, all right? So take a moment now and read it to yourself. Go ahead. Unpause. This is from the 90 test, that older test, and it's a good question. Um, I'm going to read it real quick because it's a short one. It says, according to basic principles of research-based systematic phonics instruction, which of the following common English letter combinations would be most appropriate for first grade teachers to introduce first? Okay, so I want to point out some things here. Uh, this is talking about research-based systematic phonics instruction. And, and this test is from, well, this test came out, I don't know, 2012, 2014, when it was being workshop. So it's been around for a while, right? Now, some teachers taking this class are taking the new like science of teaching reading exams, like the 293 and the 151. And I want you to understand, um, you know, these are these are these are connected ideas. OK, this is just a, an earlier version of some of the ideas that you're seeing on those newer science of teaching reading exams. I hope you understand that. OK, so that same research based uh, instruction that was referenced here is is referenced in the science of teaching reading okay but anyways regardless of that which phonics pattern would we teach if we were going to be going from uh which one would we teach first in a systematic phonics instruction so remember we're going to go from basic to advanced so let's look at these what is this one here that's what let's go back to this sheet here clear it off a little bit which one is that that's controlled r right the IR in like bird, that would be an example of controlled R. So let's just, that that's advanced. That's advanced. So let's just write that down here. That word, that controlled R, right? Uh, vowel, letter R, controlled R, that is sort of an advanced phonics rule, right? So maybe not, you know, uh, that would probably, it says here, would be most appropriate, which would be the most appropriate for first graders to introduce, you know? So probably not like the, a really hard one, and this one right here, uh, what's this one? Oi, oi is what? Well, that is when we have two things that are kind of co-articulated together, like oi and like boil, right? That's an example of a what? That is a diphthong, right? Diphthong. Let's write that down. We have a diphthong there. That is a, a diphthong. Remember, oi, you have the mouth, the mouth, the throat, the tongue blending together movement going on when you say the oi sound, that would be a little hard. That would be more advanced. So that's not going to be the first thing we introduce. How about this one right here? The use of a silent letter, silent letter like uh, like the K in no or the W in right um, or uh, or I guess that would be like the Wright brothers, or how about we just do a uh, Wright, um, or how about the B in lamb? So these are all things, the K, the W, the B that are silent letters. That might be something you save for, for later on. Probably the first ones you teach, right, are like CVC, blends, and constant diagraphs, right? Like SH and TH, that would be the first place. So does that make sense that this uh, constant diagraph out of all the options here, out of all the options, that would be the first one? So the answer is C. Now, team, I know it may be a basic question for you, but look at all the, the phonics you got to review. You got to review constant diagraphs and diphthongs and, and uh, controlled R and silent letter. This is awesome because now you can use that right in your essays. You can point out that the student had difficulty with controlled R words um, and give an example, right? Or you can say the student had difficulty with consonant diagraphs or consonant blends and give an example. So this is good stuff because it's only going to make your essays for the first essay better. All right. The answer is C from this test here. And we get to review all these very important ideas. Okay. So good stuff. All right. All right, let's keep going, team. You're doing great. Let's.